Oh, wow, uh, 20 uh, late night tripping hippies. They want more fruit. So, Tobias, help, help me use some help here. Uh, scooping up that, uh, kind of panicking. Uh, I ha hand the fruits out a little, uh, a little to an over, over, overland <laughs> go pilgrim and uh, flee the food scene. Yeah, as I take one last look, bungee crazed uh, hippies. Slogging down that messy meal. <laughs> like happy dogs, yeah. <sighs> Raw, primitive. Hmm. 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 When I wake up, oh, pre dawn light, uh, oh, there's a dozen freaks haven't slept all night, warming themselves by the small fire. And um, I got about ten pounds left, so I give them each one <laughs> for a souvenir. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yawn. Rub my hands to my eyes. Ooh, uh, hmm. Well, uh, the universal octopus poem. <laughs> Here it is. Uh, Eight Finger Eddie. The universal octopus. Oh, yeah. For professionally puppeteering, Christmas and Go, 1971. The universal octopus cheered and cheered, yeah. Oh, puppet show curtain call. Marionette strings snipped. Uh, yeah. Uh, Earth superstar marionettes uh, get their space guests uh, stoned on a sniff of uh, poetic ink waves. Yeah. And we all leap into the sea, Arabian Sea, with our wooden flutes, too. Earth flash octopus. Yeah. Well, uh, after our Christmas and Goa party, there's a few other major parties, especially Blind George's over the land head in Baga. Yeah, that's a wonderful party. <laughs> and, um, well, uh, now I'm going to uh, talk about how Eddie attained his freedom at the well. 1972, after the Christmas party. He's 48 years old during his sixth winter in Goa. And uh, the great thing about living next to the tribe of Eddie, I mean, we could hear them from David and Sherry's house or Joe Bananas. Uh, Joe Bananas right next door, and in, right in front of him is the, the ruined Goan house. Uh, still has the porch, a covered porch. Where Eddie lives with his tribe, we're all just uh, right next to each other. And uh, the thing is, uh, compared to Eddie's tribe, I feel my life is so simple, <laughs> sane, healthy. Uh, I could not feel sorry for myself for any reason. And uh, you know what? That heroin and morphine scent? Mm 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 mm. -mm. I had close-up look at those uh, characters. Uh, so sad, you know, so uh, haggard, human racks, really. Uh, so I vowed to skip that jumpy, junky trip for my whole life, which I have done. And uh, never been there, never done that. Yeah, well, thanks, Eddie, for the uh, examples of what that leads to. <laughs> Hear screaming? Coming from Eddie's ruins, give that tortured territory a wide berth, yeah. Well, sometimes I wander over to Eddie's porch to smoke a chill with the bad boys and women of the tribe. And, uh, but frankly, the uh, potential for violence at any moment, psychotic, uh, freaked out behavior, mm. frightens me, yeah. Well... What a contrast, my life with David and Sherry and the young baby. In the original rented house in Anjuna Beach, Eddie first found it, but as you heard, Sherry went and let his tribe back in because of the baby. Uh, our house is mellow, and no flip-outs are allowed in the door, let alone to sleep there. And uh, we share tasks. Yeah. I sleep in the front room on a thin reed mat, no mattress. When you're 
in your early 20s, who needs a mattress, right? David and Sherry, like an island of stability. Mm -hmm. In a sea of madness. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, you know, the hippies, they want to throw their passports and money in the water. <laughs> Sherry talks them into uh, letting her <laughs> store them for a while, just in case later. And uh, because Eddie takes care of the flip outs, uh, and junkies, he purifies the atmosphere for all the rest of us on the scene. I want to let that sink in. Because of Eddie and his unconditional welcome to the junkies and the outcasts, he purifies the atmosphere for all the rest of us. He's providing a nitty-gritty, down-and-dirty Hippie social service uh, for all of them, Jenna Bitch. <laughs>